Hi guys, I've got uh, a pretty big PowerPoint here for you. It's um, how to breed for hidden powers, specifically for X and Y. This will work for most gens actually, um, depending on how the hidden power is generated in the generation, but this is definitely gonna work for X and Y. This is an advanced breeding technique. I wanna mention that first. If you don't know how to breed or if you're not very familiar breeding for flawless Pokemon, this might be a little bit over your head. Uh, I just wanna say that first. Secondly, I hate tutorials that aren't to the point. I do start with a bit of a history, but if you want to just skip directly to the process of breeding for it, I'm sure I'll have an annotation up there. You could just click it. Uh, the history I do think is going to help a little bit, but I know it can be annoying if you just really want to get to it, to it and you think you're confident in your ability. So go ahead, click that button now if you want to. Um, other than that, I'm just going to delve right into it because like I said, I hate wasting time, especially on a tutorial. So general information on hidden powers. Hidden powers are determined by your IVs, namely if your IVs are even or odd. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. The power of the move of hidden power is now 60, flat, no matter what your IVs are. That was, it used to be a range um, before Gen 6, but Gen 6 nerfed it down to 60 flat and um, there's no more range. It's always gonna be 60. Now, when I say even and odd IVs, um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Any even number from zero to 31 is an even, and any odd from one, you know, from zero to 31 is an odd. So those numbers are listed there if you wanted to double check if you knew what evens and odds were. But so the hidden power is determined by your IVs. What is this? What does this really mean? Um, in order to find out what your hidden power is, if you really, if you want to know how it's calculated, you start from zero. You find all your IVs of your Pokemon. You start from zero, and then you add numbers according to whether that IV is odd. So if your special defense IV on a certain Pokemon is odd, you'd add 32 to zero, so you'd have 32. And then if your special attack IV is odd, you'd add 16 more, and so on. That's not really important, but that is how the, the number is generated, which tells you what kind of hidden power you're going to have. Now, depending on your number, that's what generates your hidden power. As you can see, dark is a perfect 63. So that means all of your IVs are odd, which means you have a completely flawless 31s across the board. That's the only way to get dark if they're all odd. Um, and then other than that, you can have any sort of number of you know HPs between that. Most people only opt for ice uh, usually. Sometimes you'll see fire. But um, you usually only use hidden power, especially because it's so weak on something that's going to be four times weak to it. So... Um, keep that in mind and um, but what this means though is that sometimes you're not going to have flawless stats on uh, If you need a certain hidden power you're going to need a couple 30s out of your you know set of six instead of just all 31s so um, to, to make that a little bit clearer I have an, an example. Let's say you have a Tyranitar named Steve uh, That's Steve. Hi, Steve. You want to know Steve's hidden power. So you go to an IV calculator and you find out that these are its IVs, 26 HP, 13 attack, so on, so on. Um, not the best Tyranitar, but it'll do. So let's move on. Those are Steve's IVs, and those are the rules I showed you earlier, one through six. Um, start with zero. His special defense is odd, so you don't add the 32. His special, I mean, his special defense is even, so you don't add the 32. His special attack is odd, though, so you do add the 16 that... Um, orange box shows you to speed is even so you don't add anything defense is odd so you add four attack is an odd number because it's a 13 you'd add two 22 and um, his hp is even so you don't add anything for that 22 would be our answer and tyranitar's hidden power would be bug as you can see on the right so all of this stuff's already figured out for you and there are lists of combinations of what you know ivs you need in order to have a certain hidden power i took all the best combinations and they're in the end of this video um, and uh, one section in the middle, so you don't have to work on this. This is just curiosity's sake, and also it kind of helps you understand what's going on a little bit better. So like I said, um, there is some good news. Hidden Power now has a fixed base power of 60, no matter what your IV spread is. Um, therefore, if you're not a super competitive player and you just wanted a strong Hidden Power, it's much, much, much easier to get. It's just based on whether something's even or odd. Um, and you don't need to worry about having them like maxed IVs because usually before you'd also have to worry about the power of the hidden power, which would be in accordance to how strong your IVs were. Now it just depends on if it's even or odd. However, for most of us, this isn't going to help because we only want a flawless hidden power user anyway. We want as, you know, as strong of a Pokemon with a hidden power as possible. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work here. Um, so like I said, here's one list. Um, this is typically the optimal IV spreads for 
um, any given hidden power. I do have a list at the end that'll have a larger section, a larger chunk of what you can get for each one. So if you're really looking at an ice and you want to know what else, what other combination you can have for ice, that's at the end of the video. But um, if you need, take a picture of this, pause the video or whatever. This, if you're looking for a specific hidden power, these are the IVs you're going to probably want to be shooting for because this is typically the best assortment or the best uh, lineup. There are other options though. So I just wanted to give, pre present this so you could stop it so you know what you're shooting for. So an important note, in Gen 6, an IV of 31 just means any odd number and an IV of 30 just means any even number. It's no longer, it, does, it doesn't have to be exactly 30 or 31. Um, for example, let's say HP Ice, 31, 230s, 31, 31, 31. Those 30s can actually just be any even number. So considering anything you're putting hidden power on is probably a special attacker, that attack stat doesn't need to be a 30 to you. In fact, it can be a two, it can be a 14, it can be a 22, it can be any even number. You just need the attack and defense to be even IVs. So you want a 30 because you're trying to get as strong of a Pokemon as possible, but attack doesn't really matter to you for a special attacker. So you can have any even number there. That's gonna make our job way, way, way easier because we're not shooting for an exact six spread and Destiny not only passes down five, we're really only looking for five and then a 50% chance of having an even number. So that's great. So just keep that in mind. 30 really just means an even. So if you don't need the stat, just make it an even one and it's gonna work for you. So how the heck are we gonna do this? Well, this there isn't really an easy method to breeding for the hidden power you want. It's actually relatively difficult and that's why I call this an advanced breeding technique. Um, yes, we're going to need to get parents with 30 IVs. So that's gonna be the hardest part probably for you because a lot of people have their flawless whatever, they could trade for it, but you need the 30 IV exactly in certain stats. If you don't have a flawless version of the parent you're trying to breed for, so let's say we're trying to get a Manectric with HP Ice, if you don't have a flawless version of a Manectric yet, um, you're either gonna wanna go get one of those or know how to use the time machine breeding method. That's a different breeding method. I have another video on it if you don't know what it is. Um, I'm hoping you do know what it is because like I said, this is an advanced technique. I'm hoping you're pretty familiar with the different breeding techniques. So the time machine will help you a lot if you don't already have a flawless version. Um, or you could just straight up go get a flawless version right now and that, that's gonna help you a lot and you'll see why. The easiest way to breed for a hidden power is with two things. One, a ditto with the proper 30s or multiple ditto each with you know the right 30 in the right spot and a flawless six IV parent of the Pokemon you're breeding, or five IV, whatever, you know. It doesn't have to be six, it can be five if you don't need that attack stat. Um, if the parent has some of the 30s in the right places, that's amazing. That's extremely unlikely to find, especially for something that you have like a flawless version of because it's gonna have 31s. Now, I do wanna note before I go on that for hidden powers you need more that need more than one 30, you're going to have to transfer all of the 30s first. You can use multiple ditto for this, you're just gonna have to give them different power items. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. You wanna make sure that the partner in the daycare is holding the Destiny Knot and you pass down the 30s each time. That's just a heads up. If you're if you're talking to me here, you're like, hey, I don't need HP Ice, I need to pass down more than 130. That's what I want you to get in your mind right now because that's what you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to be doing. So just let that sink in for a second. Otherwise, if you're like the probably the 98% of people out there who just need HP Ice on something, Super simple, since attack can be anything and it can just be an even number, we're really only trying to pass down 130. Um, and that's gonna be for defense because we want it to be as strong as possible. Um, so I'm gonna go with this example of a hidden power ice, timid, flawless, metric. So flawless being it's as strong as this HP ice, timid metric can be. Um, in order for that to happen, we need that 31, 230s, a 31, 31, 31. But like I said, since Manectric is going to be a special attacker here, that attack stat doesn't matter to us and that attack could be anything even. So that's great. That's what we're gonna hopefully randomize at the end. Since we're gonna pass down five stats from Destiny Knot, we're gonna hope that attack gets passed down and it's gonna be a 50% chance of being even to make our job way easier. So we're really just looking for a 31 in HP, any even number in attack, which will be randomized when we're breeding, a 30 in defense, and then 31, 31, 31. Uh, I hope you're following along because this is still the easy part. Preparation, what you're gonna need, Everstone, Destiny Knot, those are very standard breeding items. 
you're gonna need the power items. For anything you wanna pass down a 30, you have to have the power item to make this work. And um, it's because you're gonna have to force that 30 down. You're also gonna want hella Pokeballs to go catch Ditto with. Um, level balls, if your Pokemon, if the head, if your lead Pokemon's level is more than double that of the Dittos, um, or nest balls are your best bet in the Friend Safari to catch Ditto with, or just to catch Ditto with in general. Those are pretty helpful. Um, also, turn off experience share because we don't want any experience passing on to any Dittos you catch that go into your party because we want to know what their IVs are and if you have EVs on them, it's going to throw off your IV calculation. So remember to turn off your EXP share while catching dittos if they go to your party because you're gonna accidentally give them EVs and that's gonna mess up your IV calculation. Now, if you go to catch dittos in a friend safari, they're at level 30. Um, these stats have the potential to have 30 as their IV. So um, if you look, if you catch a ditto, you go into your box, you go into your party and you look up the stats. If it's got an HP of 77, and then if it's, you know, the rest of the stats either have a 46 if it's a boosting nature for that stat, a 42 if it has a, if the nature's neutral for that stat, or a 37 if the nature's negative for that stat, there's a potential that that Pokemon's going to have a 30 in their IVs. It's not guaranteed, but it will quickly eliminate the ditto you don't need to check. So if you just need defense and you're out at the ditto safari and you catch a bunch of them and, you know, you just make sure that the defense is either 46 if it's, you know, like a bold ditto 42 if it's like a timid because you know that doesn't affect the defense or 37 if it's got a minus bolt you know minus defense nature so that'll quickly eliminate the ditto you don't need to check if you're really looking only for a specific ditto to have a specific 30 and one of their specific ivs um uh, however i wouldn't recommend going to catch these ditto in the friend safari because the friend safari guarantees you two 31s for each pokemon which limits your chances of finding a 30 in one of the stats that you need Honestly, I'd go to Pokemon Village and chain them instead. Just catch them over, 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 over again um, because you have a, a higher chance of finding 30s since you're not being forced to accept 31s. Um, I think it goes from like a 1 in 31 chance or uh, instead of a 1 in 48 chance from the Friend Safari to like a 1 in 31 chance, something like that. So it, it helps a bit. Um, in order to check these IVs of the Ditto because you're going to need to know if they have a 30 in that right stat, you're going to either want to level them up with a bunch of rare candies you can get off of, you know, the global trade station for trading Pokemon, whatever that thing is. And then software setting to get those candies back after you check the IVs once they were high enough level. Or just hopping in the Battle Institute next to the daycare, which will auto level your Pokemon up to 50 temporarily. And then you can plug in those stats from there to see what the IVs are for your Ditto. Um, so that's what I would do to check the IVs. Go out, catch a bunch of Ditto, toss them either into the Battle Institute or give them a bunch of rare candies, throw them into an IV checker, and then seeing if they have that 30 you want in the right spot. Um, and once you do get that ditto, hold on to it, mark it, don't forget it, because it's gonna look like the same as every other ditto you have. So now, breeding the hidden power. This is what we're trying to do, right? This is what this whole thing is building up to. In actuality, what we want, once again, is a 31 in HP, any even IV in attack, 30 in defense, and then 31, 31, 31. That's, that's as strong of an HPI special attacker as we're gonna get. So what we do is we need to get that 30 in defense bred onto our Pokemon first. You gotta get the 30s passed on first. Um, here's a note ahead of time. If you want a hidden ability on a Pokemon, make sure the end result of all of this breeding we're gonna do right now is going to be on a male Pokemon. So if you end up getting that spread above on a female, it's not going to work out for you. You're going to want it on a male. So keep going until you get a male version with that spread above because then you toss in a female with a hidden ability and you breed it back up again. So it will be one extra series of breeding, but you, you can get the hidden ability. Just make sure that this is going to end up, you keep doing this until you get a male version of the Pokemon. So the four steps we need to do in order to breed the hidden power. Step one, find a ditto or suitable parent. So like a, a Manectric with a 30 in defense. Doesn't matter about the rest of them. If they're 31s, if the rest are 31s, that's awesome. If they're not, doesn't matter. We just need that 30 in defense. Step two, attach the power band, which is the power item that specifically passes down the defense stat um, to this ditto or this parent that has a 30 in defense and put it in the daycare. This will ensure that the defense stat will be passed down. We want the defense stat to be passed down. Power band forces that stat to be passed down. Good stuff. Step three, 
Find a Manectric with as many perfect IVs as possible. Ideally, it's a flawless. That's going to help you a lot in the future because it's going to save you exchanging one of the parents out a bunch. Um, um, or if you have like a flawless with a 30 in defense, well, then, well, you probably already have an HP Ice one. So whatever. So shoot for flawless. Step four, give the Manectric a Destiny Knot and put it into the daycare with Ditto. Now, if this Manectric has no perfect IVs, it's just a Manectric. Yeah, or it has like a, just like two, well, whatever. If it's got whatever perfect IVs it has, you want the Destiny Knot because you want to pass down whatever good stats that Manectric has. Hopefully it's flawless and hopefully the Destiny Knot's going to pass down three of those 31s along with the 30 on the other one and that's going to start getting you close to which, you know, the end result of this whole thing. So give them an extra good Destiny Knot and put in the daycare with the Ditto. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hatch and check the IVs of the offspring. Simple enough. Just like regular breeding here, guys. Keep hatching until you get a Manectric with better IVs than the Ditto parent. Remember, the Ditto parent was just a 30 in defense. You want any combination of 31s with a 30 in defense. That will obviously end as the opposite gender of the other Manectric you have in there. That way you can replace the Ditto with that 30. So you replace the Ditto with the better Manectric. Now you have a Manectric hopefully with a 30 in defense and uh, you know hopefully a couple 31s if your Destiny not did anything. Now it's feasible for you to hatch the flawless HP Ice Manectric. Feel free to keep replacing the 30 in defense, the Manectric with the 30 in defense, with better ones as they are hatched to increase your odds, just like regular breeding. If you guys are familiar with regular breeding, all we've done here is taken that 30 defense, forced it onto the first baby, and then just walked it up. We just walk it up. We have to make sure the 30 stays there. That's, that's the one important thing, just like breeding for a min speed. Make sure that 30 stays there, but then you just walk it up like regular breeding. You can also replace the other parent if it wasn't flawless to begin with as the offspring are coming out. Um, so I'm just tossing that in there for those of you who didn't have a perfect Manectric to start with or a perfect parent. I really would recommend starting with a perfect parent. I'd go breed a perfect Pokemon and then throw it in here with this. It would help a lot. It's going to make it a lot faster. But eventually as you do this, as you hatch and you keep replacing the parents with better, better Ditto or with better and better Manectric, um, remember with that 30 defense you got to keep that 30 there but as long as you keep it there eventually as you keep replacing and you keep getting better and better you know babies or offspring you'll eventually get your 31 even 30 31 31 31 manectric that hopefully what you're going to be passing down with that destiny knot are three of those 31s with the flawless parents and then one of the 31s and the 30 with the, the, the secondary Manectric that we've hatched, the one with the 30 defense, and then hopefully the attack stats, the one that gets randomized and hopefully hits even. So that's a lot of hopefully, as I'm sure you realized. It's not an exact science. Like it's going to take you, usually it's gonna take you a lot of hatches to get that. Because you want the attack to be the randomized one. You need the defense to be passed down from the one with the 30 defense. And then you need the rest of the 31s to all come together while attack is randomized and it hits even. So that's why that's why it's so difficult to do this and time consuming. Um, but now that we've hit that spread, just from sheer hatches, we have to get the right nature onto our Manectric. Because without the right nature, we're gonna get outsped. So take that new Manectric that we've just hatched, the 31 even, 30, 31, 31, 31 Manectric, and pair it up with a Ditto or a Spitback that has the nature you want. In all honesty, you don't gotta wait for that to hit even. You really just need a 31x, 30, 31, 31, 31. That'll do because that's all you need in order to breed this next step. That even is the randomized one. So just get the 31x, 30, 31, 31, 31. Good stuff. We're going to take that Manectric and we're gonna pair it with a Ditto or a different Spitback that we have had after hatching all these eggs that has the nature we want. We're gonna find a timid Manectric or a timid Ditto hopefully with as many perfect IVs as possible. A lot of times it's easier to just look at all of the spitbacks you've had all, because be, you've probably hatched a lot of eggs as of this point. Take one of those, like save all those eggs and then look at those stats and note which, which ones have the 30 in defense and which ones have 31s and which other stats. You're gonna wanna take any of those that have the timid nature and toss it in with this perfect manectric, perfect, I put in quotation marks because it's got the 30 in defense, but you throw it in with this Manectric, and then you have those breed. You have the Everstone on the new Manectric, that's really important, because we want to pass down the nature. But after we attach an Everstone to the Spitback, and we put them both in, we're gonna we're just gonna walk up the one with the perfect nature now. So you're gonna throw them back in, 
you're gonna hatch all the eggs and you're going to you're gonna keep you're gonna look at the IVs and as those IVs walk up on the ditto or the spitback parent you're gonna keep replacing that one and you're gonna keep the everstone on it to keep the nature until we get back to our 31 even 30 31 31 31 spread with the correct nature because we're walking it up with the everstone now basically all that happened we did the first process we got our 31x 30 31 31 31 manectric we put in a different manectric with the right nature with an everstone we hatch those babies and the better babies replace the one that was holding an everstone and they keep holding the everstone that's all that's all we're doing so we're just we have to do it again so this is like our second time through breeding it because we have to get the nature onto it um, a pro tip here if you do have enough spitbacks or dittos with different ivs that have the right nature the time machine method will make your job much easier you can literally go hatch one or two eggs look at which ivs are going to get passed down and then just throw that spit back in and it'll get you that perfect one like i said this is an advanced breeding technique i hope you know what the time machine method is if not go look it up or you could just you know slug it out but that will make your job a lot easier keep that in mind so i wanted to give you guys a straight up image example image example so you guys know what to do what to expect so i do want to note first if the parent isn't flawless like this metric is it will work the same way just keep changing that parent out for the new parent for new parents in order to get the IVs you're missing not so as as you're getting better and better IVs you can switch out that parent too because you need to get new IVs into the pool because it won't have perfect IVs however this is easier to show with a flawless manectric there you throw in a ditto the one we caught with the 30 in defense holding the power band so we pass down the power band we so we pass down, down the defense and then we also throw in a flawless manectric holding a destiny knot because we want to pass down as many of these ivies as possible you go hatch your eggs and you want to go find your manectric that have you know 30 in defense and then hopefully as many other 31s as possible let's say worst case comes down we do pass down the 30 but we only get one other 31 you're going to replace that new manectric with that ditto because we have the 30 defense toss that one where the ditto is hold give it the power band because we need to keep that 30 coming once that 30 is there with the power band and the destiny not just breed those two hopefully you get something higher here now note if you do get um like let's say like a timid or whatever and you're feeling lucky you can feel like you can just throw the everstone on and um, hopefully the destiny not will pass the 30 but you're going to want to double check that every time to make sure the 30 is being passed it's safer to just go with this keep the 30 and the power band and just keep passing on the 30 as these two breed there's another 31 that gets added on or you know you might have to hatch a couple eggs to find another good one but you know as you, you can see we're walking up the 31s now this one got another additional 31 in its hp you replace that as a parent you keep doing you keep hatching until you've got a perfect our 31x 30 31 31 31 manectric great so now that we have that we need to get the nature so we take that new manectric that we just got and we're going to pair it with a you know a different manectric or a different parent that has the nature we're looking for giving it the everstone with the right nature it's going to pass down with the destiny knot hopefully the 30 the 31 and the right nature now you want to make sure that that gets the 30. the 30 is the most important thing here you want to make sure that every time you replace a parent it's going to have that 30 especially if you're replacing it with the other parent that had a 30 in it you want to keep that 30 there no matter what because that 30 if you lose the 30 you've lost your progress you've lost it all or you have to go back to your last parent that did have a 30. so hopefully with our newest manectric and then the the other new manectric that has the right nature you put them together and it's going to come out with a semi-assorted variation of 31 manectric with timid nature you switch it with the you switch the everstone and you switch it out with the newest manectric just like the other just like the other process we did here you just keep switching this one out holding the everstone until you get the perfect ivs you need and eventually you will get you will land the 31 even 30 31 31 31 metric with nature timid that's what you want to do guys now note if you want the hidden ability what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to make that offspring male so that we can throw in the female one and now get the hidden ability on it that is going to be a pain in the neck it's going to be a headache but it's going to work and uh, that's that's the most important part because um, then you could throw this one in with the everstone throw the hidden ability one in with the destiny knot and then just walk it up from there so keep that in mind that'll work for you guys but it will be a third set of these breeding ups so 
it will take you a, probably a good chunk of time. Some final notes. You can follow this process for any of the 30s you need to put on your Pokemon. So I know like HP Fighting, for example, needs like five 30s. Like, oh my God, good luck with that. But if you need more than one 30, make sure you put on all of the 30s first before you start breeding for the 31s. Um, don't forget to double check that every 30 is being passed down so you don't lose your progress. You don't want to have a, you don't want to wake up and be like, oh man, I didn't have a 30 on this thing. Always double check that 30 is there. Always be safe. You don't want to have to do it again. Go level it up. Go to the Battle Institute. Double check the stats. Whatever it takes, just make sure those 30s are being passed down and you don't lose a 30. If you want an H, you know, if you want a hidden power on a hidden ability Pokemon, like I said, make sure you do this process I just showed and get a male with the final result. That's a male in that blue box. Then you could throw in a female hidden ability with it. Give the male the Everstone, give the female the Destiny Knot, and walk it up from there. Making sure you have to double check that those 30s are being passed, though. Got to double check that. Uh, and you can walk up the female as you're getting better and better females. Then you simply put in a female to breed with it that has already has the hidden ability, like I said, and work your way up from there. Perfect stuff. Here are the charts of good and hidden power spreads. Um, I gave you, these are arguably like the best, strongest ways to have HP, Dragon, Ice, Psychic, Electric, all of them. I have another sh page. Take a picture of this, pause it, whatever. If you're looking for an electric, look through those, see which one you want to put on your Pokemon. Um, I'll go to the other ones. Got them all here, good assortment. So no matter what you're looking for, these are probably the best spreads you're going to find that are going to give you the hidden power you're looking for. Hope that's really helpful. Um, I know it would have helped me if I had known this before I did my HP Ice Manectric. Um, and then some fun facts. There are no hidden powers that are normal to fairy type. There just aren't, you can't do it. And also the TM for hidden power is in the rightmost house in Anastar City. If you don't have it yet, just fight Anastar, rightmost house. That same person who gives it to you will tell you the hidden power of any of your Pokemon if you want to double check in game. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you liked this tutorial or if it was helpful, please let me know. Uh, I really love comments and subs. I mean it, do it. Steve tells you to, so you got kind of have to. Um, but honestly, I do a lot of Pokemon stuff. I play Pokemon competitively. Um, so if you guys are interested in Pokemon, want to ask me any questions, um, at, at least know that I'm not giving you BS information here. And I really appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys watching, listening to this, um, putting up with my stupid animations. And I, I really hope it helped. If not, feel free to leave a comment and I'll look through it and I'll answer it if it needs addressing. And if not, I really appreciate, I don't know, just your view. That's cool. So guys, I think it's Sunday still. Uh, have a good weekend. I guess it's not much of a weekend. Have a good week and uh, good luck breeding your HP ice.